<laughs> Hello everyone. Hope you had a ma happy manic Monday. Uh, hope your day was pretty good. Mine was not too bad. Here's a cold fret coming in. Tomorrow I might have to break out the old long johns. <laughs> And uh, tonight my favorite show, a new show was on, Chuck. And I've been working on a contest I need to finish up by next Monday for Kraft American Singles Cheese Slices. And I've uh, been working on that. And of course, being Monday, can't forget spooky places. And this week for spooky places, we shall visit some haunts in the great state of Arkansas. And our first stop is at the Batesville, Arkansas, the Liberty Baptist Church Cemetery. Throughout the years, there have been mysterious lights in the cemetery. Also, an old woman can be seen, usually during the summer months a rocking chair in the upstairs window of the church. The gravel road in front, of the of, in front of Liberty is also rumored to be haunted by a young woman who had been killed in the early 1900s. A little boy has also been seen in the cemetery and is seen in the pictures that have been shot in the cemetery. Lights turn on and off mysteriously in the church. <laughs> Our next stop is Bitten. Bitten, Bittenoville, Arkansas, Pill Mill, uh, the Pill Museum. Hunted by the former owner, the museum open to the public has light poltergeist and corner of the eye apparitions. I guess we're talking about those shadows you see of the corner of your eye. <laughs> we now move on to Camden, the Camden Cemetery. If you go to the back of the cemetery, you will find the tombstone of Dracula. Apparent, even though legend has it, he lived in Transylvania, he managed to make it to a cemetery in Camden, Arizona. Camden, Arkansas. It is very dark and it has to be quiet. If you sit on the actual grave, you will get the feeling you are being pulled under. Then if you look at the big branch on the big tree beside the grave, see where your woman was hung. You may even see her ghost still swinging there. <laughs> we now move to Cave City, Arkansas, Witch's Hollow. It's called Witch's Hollow by the townspeople because legend has it that it, in the abandoned like village houses, a witch practiced her magic. It is said that she murdered her husband and died later. Many people have reported seeing her walking along the road. You can still visit the old village and the houses. <laughs> well, my friends, that is Spooky Tales, Spooky Places for this night. I hope you all have a wonderful and spooky night. <laughs>